Hello everyone, Michael Hurwitz here for MIDI Kinetics. Seabrains, our specialized lemur MIDI editor interface for Cubase, just got even better with Seabrains 1.5. Seabrains has been totally redesigned from the ground up. You'll still find the same great MIDI editing macros as the original, but with a great new look, improved MIDI engine, and a few extra features. Seabrains can now be freely resized to accommodate a wide variety of devices. If you like, you could even drop it into the thumb key in Composer Tools Pro for convenient access. So because Seabrains can be stretched, there's no more need for the optional selector zoom area, which used to use additional lemur memory. Now when you tap zoom, the selector panel itself will just stretch out to fill the device. There are also new increment buttons which have been added to the rulers for greater precision. One of our most requested features was for additional utility buttons. So the pencil bar functions have been moved to a drop-down edit menu at the top of the interface, and the step edit command to inside the control bar. And now you have space for 210 of them. The utility buttons can be edited directly on the screen, and can send up to five MIDI messages in any combination of note, CC, or program change message. And you can use this to create macro commands, which is much better than dealing with Cubase's clunky built-in macro editor. In order to give you greater freedom to customize your workspace, the utility buttons can now easily be moved around. Just go into Move mode, select the buttons you want to move, and then decide if you want to replace and overwrite the buttons that were already there, or just swap their positions. You can assign favorites to the six slots at the bottom of the interface. Hit the Favorites button, and then hold the command and tap one of the buttons. For those who prefer a cleaner look, Seabrain's transformation panels now come in two styles, glass and flat. In the nudge panel, the note trim slider has been replaced with two modifier keys that toggle the behavior of the large arrows themselves, which is much easier to use. These can be double tapped to latch their behavior. Also, the panel menus are now pop-ups. And finally, if you have an old tablet or your Wi-Fi connection happens to be slow, you can adjust the speed at which the transformation actions get repeated when you hold down the buttons. In Preferences, adjust the slider to the minimum value that produces consistent behavior for your tablet and your network.